Hello YouTube, another um, recent purchase from one of the local car boots, uh, paid a couple of pounds for this, I seem to have bought a lot um, of cameras recently that came in boxes um, for only a couple of pounds, uh, which is really quite cool, uh, Fuji Compact DL270 Zoom, nothing spectacular, it's really um, quite literally a point and shoot. Uh, but it has a range of 35 to 70 millimeters, um, red eye reduction, drop in film loading for easy use, and a panorama photographic capability and a very large viewfinder. Um, as you can see, the box is still in pretty cool condition. Um, but I think the camera maybe has been used once or twice. Came with a lot of bump in it, Fuji guarantee, not that it would be worth anything. Came with a lot of um, panorama stickers. Two seem to be missing, or maybe oh well, there's one on the box lid in there. If you can see, um, I'm not quite sure where the other one is. Maybe somebody did actually use it and place the sticker on the roll of film. Um, it could well be the oh, guarantee certificate, which would be now the Easter ornament these days. Um, and there's the instruction manual, which is always good to have, so you never seem to get them these days. Um, in the usual uh, blurb, quick start guide, which I always find really quite interesting, especially if I show you. Um, it's quite interesting, it's good. Um, and the camera itself, uh, it also comes with the, um, the remote, which has never, by the looks of it, I haven't had it out of the box, and it certainly doesn't look like it's been out of the box. Um, so that's quite cool as well to actually get the remote with it but it is basically um, just a point and shoot uh, nothing spectacular uh, it's got a uh, it's got the super EBS Fujicon zoom lens on it um, haven't got any batteries in it at the moment um, but I've had batteries in and it, it fires up um, and it seems to do everything it's supposed to do. Um, drop the film in at the bottom here and close it off. You have um, the timer and the remote. The timer, bring it in a little bit. So you've got the timer and the remote button there. Um, it has three flash functions. I believe you've got red eye reduction, fill in flash, and off. Which I was happy to get rid of the flash um, at times because I'm not a big fan of flash. Uh, as you can see, it's drop in loading and the panorama button on there. Um, and it's got no batteries in, so the lens shutter won't open at the minute um, you've got two settings you've got wide and um, wide and telephoto so it's 35 millimeter to 70 millimeter um, and that's it really I mean it's like you say it's nothing um, absolutely nothing point of the camera um, takes a a one, two, three year battery, um, which didn't come with a box, but I've got some um, around the house, so I shall take this out and give it a test. Again, as you say, I'm going to Bristol um, next week, um, and I shall take it with me and do some street photography with it um, and see what the results are like. It, it's in nice condition, nothing spectacular. But um, for a couple of pounds of the car boot, will it still be in its box? Oh, there's the phone. Can you hear that? That's the in-laws phone. And not going to be very good. Um, so I'm going to run and hide at this point. Um, and the photographs, once I've got them developed, I'll create another video. Um, and I'll show them below. Okay, see you later. Bye.